So here we go. So these are the test exam, like the training that you can access on maltron.com and it teaches you how to use this keyboard layout um, which is completely unlike anything I've ever seen. I started on uh, lesson one so I'm currently on lesson 6a and 6b so you have the left hand and the right hand training so I'm using my right hand and then you just work through these exercises and what I really like about these exercises is that they're introducing you so anyone who's learned typing from a typist will know about your home keys and it uses the same principle um, so this teaches you your home keys which are A, T, E, H and then it starts teaching you um, letters that are very close to them so like you start learning S which is to the left of your A and then D which is just above and you learn about your spacebar which is down um, by the thumb you can't really see that very clearly um, on the video but the spacebar is this key here um, and so you start by doing just the letters that don't necessarily mean anything and then you gradually get into more complicated um, combinations of letters and then as you move through the different training exercises you actually start to type real words um, and then you start to explore harder combinations of keys so ones that are making you move more but also making you think more so here you're starting to use you've got your your D which is above the, the um, home keys and your S which is to the left so you're starting to have to use this and then you're starting to introduce H which I find quite tricky actually on the little finger I don't think I use my little finger very much in typing so it's been interesting learning these ones and you just literally repeat these phrases um, and type them over and over and you get better as you do it and then here you're combining all of the words that you've learnt up here into one sentence so I'm on um, number six at the moment this is where I've got to so far so I was just going to sort of chart my progress because um, I didn't really find very much about people who've actually tried to use this keyboard so um, I may just try these ones again because I've done these ones before so enter is over here as well it's quite a small key um, one of the things I'm finding is there's a feature which I'll find very helpful when I'm more fluent which is when you double tap sometimes uh, is it this one uh, I can't remember but I keep, keep double tapping this and it puts a full stop um, so I've done, had noticed that a few, a few times um, and also like I is quite tricky to hit sometimes I'm hitting the space instead of I so the way you type is you start with your keys your home keys um, and then you just write what's on the screen so you use your thumb to get across to these keys I might just see if I can change the angle so that you can see uh, maybe it's better looking down down that way maybe hmm. I shall experiment on what's the best way to show you that might work I guess at least then you can see all the keys there you go so you start with your hands on the home keys and then um, so oops so you've got I is here and N is a new key which I've just learnt which is at the ed at the side of H so it's right over here this is your N key um, so you have to sort of get used to stretching your fingers a bit and F is a new key as well um, and what I'm finding is I'm having to like literally let my brain remember where the keys are because sometimes if I'm not concentrating it's like I know where it is but I can't remember which finger to use and because I'm a touch typist I really want to get to be able to use this as a touch typist not looking at the keys so when I'm learning I'm not looking at the keys at all I'm just looking straight at the screen um, to see what I'm actually typing so once you get going it's actually not too bad 
it's just slow so like I type at about 60 words a minute 80 on a good day whereas I'm like much much slower at the moment because this is a completely new um, layout to me but I am finding it quite nice when I am practicing um, oh, whoops uh, it is quite a nice comfortable position to be typing in and I'm not at the moment finding like I'm over stretching or um, struggling at all so there we go that will do for now and then I'll scroll down into this one so you can also use tab, there's a tab key at the top here um, I'm just kind of out of the habit of using it and I have a trackball mouse which I use um, with my right hand as well so um, so this one has some new letters so M is a new letter for me and that's here you can see it um, just here so that's sort of like your T is here and then you have to go from T up to M so that's a new letter for me on this exercise so let's see how we go O and O and off is also news O and F so O is here and F is here so that's again like to a row up from your home key And what I'm finding is when I'm just learning this, I'm having to spell out every letter, every word, because I have to say like N, N key, T, T, like I have to remember where all the keys are because I'm not quite there yet. So that's one of the reasons why it's kind of slow because you've got to, your brain, I guess, has to go, oh, I need to press O. Okay, where's O? Which finger do I need to move? There it is, press. And that's kind of, it's almost like when you first learn to drive and you're trying to operate the clutch if you have a clutch. Okay, so I'm just going to try typing and not talking for a bit. I really struggle with E and H. I think it's because I'm just not used to typing so much with my little finger that I don't always have it on the key. It's quite often up like this and I'm like, oh, there is another finger. <laughs> so. Oops. And that's something I've noticed as well, overshooting. Like I haven't quite got the muscle memory yet. Well, I've only been doing this for an hour or so um, to know how far I have to go up and across so quite often I was hitting S for A when I started learning S I would hit S instead of A and now that I'm learning M I'm occasionally hitting D or 2 because I'm not quite I don't quite know how far that distance is from the home keys and like this is something that I struggled with when I was eight when I was learning to touch type with my mum because my mum was a typist so you know I had the same problem then like overshooting keys um, so let's have another go but overall I'm pretty impressed with the typing like I wouldn't have expected to be this f at least be able to type like this on a completely alien keyboard um, within an hour or so Oops. and I think one thing it's taught me is just how patient you have to be like especially if you're a touch typist and you're, you're used to just typing really fast um, 
you really just have to be patient because it's completely different to anything you have ever done before and it is literally it feels a bit like going back to school um it, you know like it feels like never having ever um typed before which obviously i've been typing for 20 odd years uh more than that actually 30 years so yeah i it does make you feel a, a little bit incompetent to not be able to even just type a response to a message in slack or something like that uh, so do just kind of give yourself a break um, and don't take it too seriously that you're not you know at least typing like nine words a minute or something because it, it is hard and what I found was um, so because we're on lockdown at the moment and my partner was on a phone call behind me I had to put noise cancelling on on my headphones because I was trying to focus on typing and I was listening in on what he was saying or like that was coming into my awareness and that meant I couldn't focus on what I was typing on so I'd also say when you're learning try and make sure that you are in a quiet environment where you're not going to be bothered by other people um, because that will affect how quickly you pick things up but yeah here we are So, so so far I'm actually really quite surprised because I thought it was going to take longer. What I'm finding is the letters that I do now know, I'm much quicker at typing them with feel. I don't know necessarily where the letters are in on the keyboard, but it's like my mind now knows which finger I have to press when a letter comes up. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like I wouldn't necessarily be able to reel off what the letters are across here but I know how to type, type them. Um, so that's been quite interesting. And yeah, I received this this morning. I probably started playing around with some of the exercises at about 12 o'clock and it's now five o'clock and I've had like a three hour meeting in between. So I've probably done about an hour and a half and I'm able to type at the speed that you've just seen. So I'm gonna kind of keep a bit of a video diary of how I'm getting on. Um, uh, and I didn't say at the beginning, the reason I'm doing this is because I have injured this side of my wrist. Um, so uh, this part here. And I have to not use my left wrist in typing particularly, but generally at all for a couple of weeks at least to allow it to heal. And so I thought I would, um, yeah, just like video record some of my experiences firstly to share with people who might be considering hiring one of these or buying one but um, also to sort of show progress over time so I don't feel like I'm getting nowhere so when I'm a week down the line I can look back at where I was when I started um, so yeah if you are thinking about one of these keyboards maltron.com in the UK they allow you to borrow them for four weeks or eight weeks so initially I've borrowed one for four weeks um, but I think that's a really awesome service because they aren't cheap, you know, um, and it gives you the opportunity to learn. But also they provide these training courses online. And I'm on exercise 6A. And as you can see, for the single right hand, there are 36. So that teaches you presumably the entire keyboard and all the combinations and all the kind of words that you're going to need to do. So I'm not planning to go from one to 36 in one day, but I do want to be able to get at least the basics so that I know where the keys are um, because I my work does involve an awful lot of typing. Um, so the quicker I can get up to speed, the better. So that's my where I'm at today. Um, and I will do another video in the near future and uh, share with you how I'm doing. <laughs>